Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 5. In this one, it looks a little bit difficult, but we can work on it together. It tells you we need to find how many revolutions per minute. What does that mean? It means you need to find velocity. Do you agree? Because revolution per minute is how fast the circular motion is. Velocity. And then with a 22 diameter, so there we need to take care. This tells you diameter, so the radius is 11 meter. And then in what situation the person feels weightless, so at the top. So in this one, first thing we do the force analysis. Uh, in this case, we can say norm normally we have gravity and the normal force to support the passengers. Do you agree? And so the central force is just the gravity minus the normal force, because the net force pointing to the center, and equals mass times the velocity divided by r. And the person feels the weightless, so that means the person couldn't feel this normal force to support them, so the normal force becomes zero. In this situation, you can find the velocity just equal to squared g times r, when this fn is zero. So g times r, in this case, we, get, we can get it, because g is 9.8 meter per second square, R is given, 11 meters. The next one, the problem is a little bit difficult. It asks you how many revolutions per second. We know velocity, how can we convert it to how many revolutions per second? Very simple. We can consider for one revolution, it is just a 2 pi r. Do you agree? For one revolution, the distance, 2 pi r. And then, in one minute, so how much distance this uh, object travels? We know the velocity, so this velocity just times the uh, time taken, one minute, uh, 60 seconds, because after we do calculation, it is a meter per second. Then we can get how many revolutions per second, because at the one, one minute, uh, per minute, at one minute, the distance this object travels is V times the 60 seconds. And then, how many revolutions? One revolution, the distance is 2 pi r. So use the total distance divided by the distance per, per revolution, and we can get how many revolutions. Simple, right? So first one, we get is the velocity at the squared g times r, this one. And then we find it's 10.38 meter per second. And then we can say, uh, because in one revolution, the distance is travel is just to use this uh, velocity times uh, per minute, 60 seconds. This is the total distance this object traveled. And then in one revolution, the distance is 2 pi r. So we get is 9 revolution per minute. Thank you.